More doses of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine will be making their way to Southern New England hospitals today, inoculating more of our frontline workers. And 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is joining us live in Providence, where two more hospitals are expecting shipments this morning. Well, that's right, Danielle. Sometime this morning, about 5,000 doses of that Pfizer vaccine expected to arrive here at Women and Infants Hospital uh, for Care New England Hospitals. South Coast Hospitals Group also expecting close to 2,000 at Charlton Memorial and Fall River this after, excuse me, later this morning. Now, yesterday, when the first doses arrived here in Rhode Island, it was like Christmas morning as they were unloaded and unpacked at Rhode Island Hospital. That hospital and Newport Hospital were the first two to receive the vials in the state. Today, Kent, Miriam, and women and infants are on the list. That shipment expected somewhere between 7 and 10.30 this morning. Same time frame, by the way, for the shipment to Charlton Memorial Hospital in Fall River for South Coast Health, and that does include St. Luke's Hospital in New Bedford and Toby Hospital in Wareham. For those on the front lines, they say this is the day they have been waiting for. Emergency room doctor at Rhode Island Hospital, Christian Arbelez, explains his exhale that we saw as he was the first one in the state to receive the vaccine yesterday. I'm trying to be at the moment um, and, and understand the, the this historical moment that we're all living. Uh, but it is, and, and, and the exhale was more of just a little bit of relief. And uh, guys, this is almost over. We're like in the last lap of the race, and we're so close, and it feels really nice. All right, so first in line to get the vaccine yesterday and will continue to be are those healthcare workers that are most regularly in direct contact with COVID patients. Now, that's not just doctors and nurses, by the way. We're also talking about food service staff who are bringing meals to COVID patients. We're also talking about members of the cleaning staff who are charged with disinfecting a room after a patient with COVID has been discharged. But we know that the question on many of your minds is when is it my turn to get the vaccine? Well, we'll talk more about that coming up next half hour. For now, live in Providence, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. There were some sighs of relief, even tears, as the first health uh, healthcare workers, that is, in Rhode Island received their vaccinations against COVID-19 yesterday. Thousands more doses are scheduled to hit the ground in southern New England today. Erica Ritchie is joining us live in Providence with when and where the next doses are expected to arrive. Well, Danielle, the when is sometime between 7 and 10.30 this morning. The where, right behind me, the front doors here at Women and Infants Hospital. That is exactly where we're expecting to see about 5,000 vials of the Pfizer vaccine be delivered this morning. Of course, those on the front lines will be at the front of the line to receive those vaccinations. But we know that many of you have top of mind questions about when this vaccine will be available to you. So we brought those questions directly to Dr. Philip Chan of the Rhode Island Health Department. And in our conversation, with him. We learned a little bit more about the four phases of distribution that we heard about from the governor last week. Uh, we are currently in the first part of the first phase, focusing on inoculating those high risk healthcare workers. Second part of this phase, those with underlying health conditions. And yes, we are being told that does include pregnancy and those in nursing homes. That's expected to begin right after Christmas. Next, it's the K 12 teachers and staff, it's prison workers and those who are incarcerated, and it's all older adults. Young adults, children, retail and grocery workers, they'll all be part of phase three. Everyone else falls into phase four, which at best is looking like summertime. This is still evolving and is a little bit of a moving target. So we're asking people to be patient. We're definitely setting up the system to vaccinate all of Rhode Island. And we anticipate likely that you'll check in with your primary care provider who can administer that vaccine themselves or refer you to a site where you can get it. All right, so one of the questions we had specifically related to primary care is what if I live in Rhode Island, but my PCP is in Massachusetts? Am I able to cross state lines to get the vaccine? Well, Dr. Chan said that's still being look, looked into right now because that does involve multi-state coordination. So again, you did hear him say this is evolving and things will be changing, so be patient and stay tuned. We brought a lot of other questions that you had to him that he does have some answers for. We've got them up for you right now on our website, WPRI.com. That's the latest live in Providence. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.